I'm going to walk you through how I made this particular piece. This is a 12 by 12 on cradled wood canvas. Um, as you can see, I have it on my spinner, which is just a Lazy Susan that I added um, kind of a stick underneath so I could rotate it. This is Sharon Williams Delightful Pink base that I'm using. Um, I've been always using the Walmart brands, but the Sharon William brand is super, super awesome to use. Um, I'm having a lot of good results with it. So if you got a Sharon Williams, they're like five bucks for the sample cans, and you can do one to three of three different canvases with it, depending on the size, of course. So now I've got the base poured. I'm getting ready to lay the first pigment, which is by Color Art called Vavoon Red. And there we go. This color is so beautiful. It's really dark um, as far as the pigment looks, but when it actually mixes with the paint or the base, it, it really does come out really nice and bright. Um, this is the Golden Peach by this little piggy, Shelly Arts um, product line. This is Passion by Color Art. This is Peacock Feather by Color Art. Again, another beautiful pigment. It looks so green, but it actually turns into a beautiful turquoise. Uh, Lily Pad by This Little Piggy. Again, Shelly Art products. This is called African Jade by Color Art. And I'm basically just drizzling all over the place on top of each pigment. This is Golden Interference by Color Art. I like this because it kind of brightens some of the colors and adds like a gold shimmery to it. Especially when you resin it, it really pops. This is Plumeria by Color Art. I got one in a darker color on top before I put my cell activator, which is going to be white by Amsterdam mixed with Floetrol. Um, Australian Floetrol, of course. It's the only one. And I've tried everything else to get results, but this is just the magic sauce, as Sheila would call it. And pretty much that's it. What I wanted to tell you guys is the issues I have with blowing out the actual CA. I mean, it's just impossible for me to do. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know if it's the shape of my lips or what, but it just doesn't work. So I bought a hair dryer, a small hair dryer. Um, and what I found was when you actually go to blow it out, stop. Give it a second, let that pigment come back in. And you'll see I'll, I'll go on again on another angle. And I basically just work the pigment out and then let it come in. This gave me a lot better control with where I wanted that lacing to be. Um, it just turns out awesome. I'm really, really impressed with not only the CA, but the ability that this hair dryer gives me that I can't do manually, right? I think a lot of us are having issues with that. But see how I kind of wait and let that stuff, the CA come right back in the middle, kind of clump together so you have more to blow over. And that's it. The next step, I'm going to kind of fast forward through it, but um, it's spinning it out, getting all that paint dispersed, and then I'll give you a close-up at the end. If you guys have any questions or anything, please comment below. Thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome day.
darling, we built a home, a life. But now all of that is gone, I feel my tears. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm leaving the light on if you come back around. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm holding on until forever I will find. You drift away Hold tight I can save you from this deep black waters Pull you in while You drift away